Norm Houghton was a team leader on the assault force that day, and in 20 years, he's never spoken publicly about the battle because his unit is so secretive. Even after all this time, we were asked not to use its name. 60 Minutes was able to obtain this surveillance video of the battle, which has not been seen publicly until now. Here you can see the very beginning of the mission. Hooten was flown in on one of these Little Bird helicopters to the target building, which was quickly enveloped in clouds of dust. How well did you and your men execute that main, the main objective of the mission? It was flawless. From the time we set down to the time we called for uh, the, the helicopters to come back and get us, I would say it was no more than five minutes and it was over. So you thought you were going back, it was yeah. done? Yes. The helicopters were on their way back to the target to pick us up. We had uh, everybody that we've been trying to get for months was in one package, in one mission. Then, from this rooftop, with his men under fire, Hooten watched as the lead Blackhawk Super 6-1 headed towards him. And it took a, a direct hit to the, to the tail boom and went, started a slow rotation. How and hard did it hit? It was a catastrophic impact. That's the only way I can describe it. This is Super 6-1 moments after it was hit by a rocket-propelled grenade, spinning out of control before it's torn apart on impact. 